It's Wednesday the 2nd of July, I'm Richard Wiltshire. Good morning and welcome to the ETX Capital Daily Market Bite. Yesterday saw a good day for global indices. The FTSE closed up over 50 points and the Dow powered ahead for more or less the word go. It's post record highs closing just two points below the magical 17,000 level with the S&P also posting a record high. On the foreign exchanges, the dollar spent much of the day on the back foot and was sold off pretty much against everything. The commodity currencies of Aussie, Kiwi and Canadian dollar had good days posting gains against the dollar. Although overnight the Australian trade balance came in and was much worse than anticipated and in a case of what goes up must come down, the Aussie gave back all its gains. However, yesterday's main mover was sterling. It continues to power ahead. Shaw Manufacturing PMI data pushed cable to new six-year highs and construction PMI at 9.30 a.m. this morning will be closely watched for further sterling moves. Elsewhere, Eurozone PMIs were pretty underwhelming and the Euro traded pretty much sideways against everything. Uh, apart from sterling, where it weakened quite dramatically. There's a plethora of data today, including US ADP employment data and Yellen speaking this afternoon. But the main focus will be on the ECB rates and obviously the non-farm payrolls tomorrow. It's difficult to gauge what the markets will do over the next 24 hours. Um, we could have a period of frenetic activity tomorrow afternoon around the non-farms. And then we have the US uh, 4th of July holidays on Friday, so it's likely to be a very, very quiet day. That's it. Good luck today. Thank you.